NXT, NXT. Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're on the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. Let me adjust that volume in the microphone here. That's a little bit better. There we go. No more feedback. No more feedback. I gotta text my friends and say, get ready for some two sweet. Oh wait, this is my NXT review. I'm not going to NXT yet. And uh, another day, I get to go to NXT. I have my, oh, there it is. Okay, which thumb is that? No, wrong thumb. You can tell over there. There's my NXT t-shirt, my DIY Tommaso Ciampa y Gianni Gargano. There's no one's going to do it for you. So I'll be there live. I'll be posting that video probably Saturday. We'll see. Saturday, if not Sunday at the latest. So yeah. So there will be no SmackDown. Eh -eh. I'm going to see stuff live. For change, which is good, because I haven't seen live wrestling events. Was it NWA? N-A-W-A. Or did I get to a... Oh, no, I got to AEW. Was it this year? Yeah, I think it was this year. I don't know. We'll see. I forget. <laughs> I forget if it was... You know, I forget if it was the end of last, last year or beginning of this year. Not, not that I really think about it. Oh, well, what, whatever. It's time for some real NXT because it was a Tuesday Soup Day edition. And I actually add soup. Um, it starts off... Triple H. It's time to play the game. And, and Vince McMahon showed up? Wow. This is a Vince McMahon show saying, I'm the boss, bitches. Um, and then they introduced the new wrestler. Um, not Jason Devlin. They call uh, something McDermott. That sounds close enough. I'm okay with that. So our first match... Uh, Solo Sokoa versus Grayson Walla. No finisher for Grayson Walla. I got to this a little bit late. I got back from the gym late. Missed most of the action. I think really the only stuff I missed was, was all the pre-hype pre stuff. And then of course I had to cook my soup. Which was good. The chickenina soup. Like chicken meatballs. Chicken. Little pasta things. Celery. Typical mirepoix. Onion, celery, carrots. There's a word for you. Word of the day, mirepoix. I watched too many cooking shows when I had cable TV, I guess. Um, so again, this is Solo Sokoa versus Grayson Waller. Uh, when I got in, there was no finish for Grayson Waller. You tried it. Uh, Solo hit the catch. Samoan drop. That looks good. Uh, he could not hit the splash. Grayson, instead, however, ate a super kick. Somewhere in this match, I think part of the uh, match I missed... They had um, a turnbuckle spot. Grayson Waller ripped the turnbuckle pad, exposed the turnbuckle. He sent Solo Sako into that. Or Solo Sako sent himself into that. Uh, Grayson Waller did his, like, flippy through the rope cutter. And Grayson Waller won. Due to the fact that he exposed the turnbuckle. That was different. That was an okay match. It wasn't anything spectacular. Ham sandwich match. And we did Tony D'Angelo family speaks on to DJZ and um, Del Toro. Still call him this Joaquin something, and I just call him Raul Mendoza still. Then we had Caden and Katana taking on Leon e Fiorucci, the, the, the two Brazilian women. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, starts off big spear. Good tag team work by both. I'm they did the pop up um, face buster. X Factor that was great. They isolated Kaden a lot. Katana didn't get in too much. Katana did that one on two neck breaker. I hate one on two moves because in theory that should never happen. Like two people are always greater than one. It's it's a simple law of math. Uh, K and K did their uh, double team finisher. 
that um like power bomb I don't think it's a I forget it. it's like a power bomb um flippy thing except for Katana her knees went right <laughs> she did not rotate enough and her knees went right into the Leone's midsection I think ouch I'll tell you what it's good to hear the too sweet again for the crowd but overall you know what it was a ham sandwich match Ooh, that was good. And there was a Wesley promo. Wesley, you have to go back to Impact. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, Tiffany Stratton said how annoying Wendy Choo Choo is. I don't even know if her one name's Wendy Choo Choo. Whatever. Um, then we had Roderick Strong and Damon Kemp, members of Diamond Mine. Taking on uh, Del Toro and Joaquin Phoenix, previously known as Raul Mendoza and DJZ. I forget what the name is. The Great Devil Teamwork by D. Oh, D. DJZ. Oh, man. The fact that they let AJ do that thing. DJZ should have done a thing. He was great in the X Division. He was there. I think he might have been an X Division champion or who might have wrestled for that belt a few times. He was always featured in, in the Ultimate X matches. He was so good. Raul Mendoza. I can never say enough praises about how good Raul Mendoza is. But again, they do such good double teamwork. Then there's some disagreement in Diamond Mine about who should get in. Roderick says, yeah, listen, you're the new guy. You get in there. Damon Kemp's like, hey, chump. I'm twice your size. Granted, and my, my girlfriend's hotter than your wife. Marina Shafir's a whole other... Thing. Oh, Sorogato! And Sasai. Kauchi. And Uma Plata. No, not the Uma Plata. Uchimata. The Go Go Pass Jiu Jitsu. What up? I'm getting stuff confused. Oh, Sorogato! That's something I remember from watching Judo too much. The one British guy screaming Oh Storogato all the time. Um, yeah, wait, where was I? Oh yeah. Roddy Strong. Um What didn't get uh, then get tagged in. Uh, DJ Z and takes out both as they're arguing, both Roderick Strong and um Damon Kemp. Del Toro does the flippy lucha style stuff. However, there's more Familia miscues. I could have sworn two dimes. I don't know if this was taped though or not. It's two dimes is still there. Unless they just replaced. Unless they figured two dimes is such a generic character. We're just going to replace them with the next schlub. Which they might have done. Um, so they miscued. So Roderick Strong and Damon Kemp got the win. It was an okay match. Again, the whole Familia thing. The ham sandwich. Then the Giovanni Vinici, also <laughs> known as Fabian Eichner. Wait, wait a second. That's Fabian Eichner minus the goatee. Oh, yeah, that is Fabian Eichner minus the goatee. Wait, that is him. Wait, wait a second. That's Fabian Eichner. At least I did something with him. And I do like the fact that they have uh, Ludwig Marcel Bartel is the mouthpiece for, for Gun Walter Gunter. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, we have another Apollo Crews vignette. I have no idea. Apollo, I probably won't be seeing Apollo Crews or Toxic Attraction. I have a funny feeling Toxic Attraction a is a little bit above. Coming to a Jacksonville Armory. So is Apollo Crews, by the way. It wouldn't surprise, it's just so unlikely. Then there's a toxic attraction, they call out, um, they're in the ring doing a promo. Roxanne Perez shows up with um, her buddy, Cora Jade. And then 
Are they going to turn Kate and Katana heel? The evil lesbians? Who knows? And there's Indy Hartwell. Again, very typical. A lot of filler in the middle here. We have Indy Hartwell and Kiona. Whoever that is. Talking. And that led to our next match of Cameron Grimes. To the moon. But I'll tell you what. There's a better chance of seeing Cameron Grimes and Braun Breaker at this show than there is Toxic Attraction in Apollo Crews. Yeah. And Alfie is actually pretty good. He has good rope work. He knows how to run. That was nice. Uh, Grimes hit the Huracurana. A big crossbody. Um, and of course, yes kicks. And then and Alfie's like, yeah, come on. Hit me again. Hit me again. I dare you. Uh, he gets psyched up. Then he goes to Mie Booze. And Alfie had that great trap European uppercut when he had Cameron Ryan's against it's a rope. Uh, Grimes, however, hit a big leg drop. Then the cave in because it's to the moon. I'll tell you what, this was a fun match, too. And then, of course, he has a nice face in, face in, versus face in where he's like, you know what? You do got it. They shake hands, the proper competitor shit. It was a good match, actually. Cheeseburger match. And there's this Thea person. Oh, that's right. It was Thea. Oh, this looks like such a cheesy Brazers Pornhub porno segment. Mainly because Thea, the new person that, that is now at Chase University, walks into a dorm room. Of course, what's his face? Brody there is Brody's there. He's like, Who are you? She's like, I'm be your roommate. And then she does a very womanly thing of jumping on the bed and like a cutoff t shirt. And I'm just like, Wait a second. When I was in college, I remember watching this. Yeah. If you've ever seen like pornos about college dorm buildings, like this is how it generally starts. Yeah, and he's like, oh, we're going to be the best roommates. We're going to be doing everything. Yeah. yeah. You get where this is going. Then we had the, the one Jansen, I forget his first name, versus Von Wagner. Come Tuesday. Von Wagner. He has clubbing blows and Jensen that's spinning. That's spinning, <laughs> spinning liver kick. Spinning heel kick. That's great. However, Wagner... He just has heavy-hitting heavy hands. Uh, Jensen, it's a flurry of elbows. There's really not a lot of um, wrestling moves. There is, however, the top rope into a catch some into a into a catch something by Jensen. Um, Von Von Br Wagner. Actually, that Samoan neckbreaker looks pretty sweet. So I can see that as a finisher. Von Wagner wins. So yeah, that was that was an okay match. Ham sandwich. Then there's some more yapping backstage. Uh, Braun Breaker. And, woo, Cameron Grimes. And there's more of Joe Gacy and the Druids. You know, there's a pretty good chance we're going to see some Druids there, too. I don't know if that's a good thing. And there's the Owl Fire versus Lash Legend match. This match was nearly awful. Way too short. I can't believe they're just, like, burying with, like, the broken shovel. Kaylee Wright. Jeez. And they're all the women from England get like butchered on the show. Tegan Knox, Nixon Newell. Granted, she had like three knee injuries. That's just like a voice from above saying, hey, I don't think you should be doing this. Although if you are single, Nixon Newell, hey, you remember me. But yeah, I'll, I'll give her knee rubs. Um, yeah, this is okay. Like, 
out of the fire, hit the gory bomb, he just traded a lot of blows. Then Lash Legend just took the flaming baseball bat and like nailed out of the fire with it. That was a weird ending. Uh, they're going to continue this for some reason. <sighs> it wasn't boring. So it's a can of soup. Can't say it's a piece of toast because it wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. And there is a difference. And then the main event was Tony D'Angelo versus Carmelo Hayes. Again, Tony D'Angelo, he can do some good rope running himself. Although he looked like he was like a male nurse. And like, or like, he had like baby blue colored, like powder blue colored sweatpants on, a white wife beater. I don't know, it was weird. Uh, again, Tony D'Angelo, good rope running. Tony, he also got big gut shots and the flapjack was good. Carmelo, though, he swept the leg when they were on the apron. That looked Smart, actually. Uh, Tony, that big slap, uh, comes in. Then we have a nice... Oh, yeah, Carmelo has, has a beautiful-looking code breaker. Tony does a takedown roll-through. That was actually pretty impressive, the back body drop. I do like the... I do appreciate the chain wrestling. However, Haynes gets the, the back breaker. And then thanks to some... Some outside interference because then Tony D'Angelo's in the in the corner, and he's he's he's, he's motioning. Uh, King Cuerno, uh, Ijo del Fanta, um Santos Escobar, sliding me the brass knucks. He's like, okay, whoosh, slides some right to Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes eyes got big. He puts the brass knucks on. Cold cocks, Tony D. A little bit of that on. On justice, Carmelo Hayes retains his belt. It's more friction in mi familia. I'll tell you what, this was fun though. I do like the fact that if Santos Oscar say, hey, I slid you, then you didn't catch him. Which makes sense. Um, cheeseburger match. Not a lousy. NXT, not great either though. Probably just honestly a ham sandwich of a show. And that was it. That was NXT from the past Tuesday. Eventually this is gonna get edited. And then probably, t probably tonight, because this will get processed when I'm at the gym. Tonight I'll do AEW, but I'll get processed while I hobo. After I hobo, I'll do predictions. A lot of videos to do tonight. If not, I'll just do predictions and we'll figure out stuff. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe.